to the Kent Lab Podcast. Yeah, because when when you're successful at something, you know, when you are known to be a successful businessman, I come in and I fix broken things and I see something that wasn't there and I build it. Mm -hmm. And then I make people rich Mm -hmm. and I get rich and, you know, that's who I am. And all the guys high five. Yeah. You know, good for you. Yep. I want to be that too. Except (laughs) where is, where is it stated that that's what life is supposed to be? You know, I, I formed you in your mother's womb before the foundations of time, bro. Like we need to know what, what did, what did you form? What was that? What's different about me than Kent? What, what was your intention when you balled me up and you put me in my mom and I was born? What was your intention, God? You know, it wasn't to build a business, mm-hmm. you know, even the person who's curing cancer, like that, that's not the thing. That's not really the thing. That's a thing they do. And it's a great thing that they do, mm-hmm. but it wasn't God, God, God did not say, okay, and you're the person that cures cancer. Right. Like, you know, that's a doing. Yes. It's like you are here to release this in people. You're here to heal this in people. Yeah. You're here to fix this problem. You're here to give this gift. And if we can name that, if we can name that, then then we get all of our power, mm-hmm. all the power, mm-hmm. you know? But when we're fixated on ego-driven accomplishment, um, not that those things, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm, uh, I like to accrue. I like to build. I like to go. I'm very goal oriented. That's all good. Mm -hmm. But when we make that our focus versus coming from the place of being, you know, who am I here to be? When we, when we make it, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Then we're in a constant state of panic. When you think about if you were to come and this is what everybody asked me, like if we were in a session, the first question somebody says is, hey, this is my situation. What do I do? And I'm like, dude, how am I supposed to know? The question itself is telling, isn't it? It is. What do I do? You know? And it's like, how, how, how are any of us supposed to know what you should do? It would require us being able to see the future. And none of us see the future. So we don't know what you're supposed to do. So all we can do, and everybody's asking this question, what do I do? What am I supposed to do? How the heck can anybody know in light of all the moving pieces of the history of the world and the future of the world and the fact that we're just here in this moment, what am I supposed to do? I could, there are so many ways to mess up. You know, it's an unanswerable question that we're all asking and torturing ourselves because we can't get the answer. Hmm. Lack of clarity, confusion, overwhelm, shut down, shame, over, repeat, you know, it's everybody. It's an epidemic. Mm-hmm. You know, it's the worst thing going on right now because we're all living our lives without the knowledge of who we're here to be. Mm-hmm. When you can come back and say, home base for me, I've always been an encourager from day one. Looking back over my whole life, I've always seen something in somebody and said, dude, that, that's separate. You're so separate mm-hmm. in that regard. That's incredible. You know, and they feel seen, you know, Mm -hmm. I've always been a strategist. I've always been able to say, okay, what's the fastest way, the smartest way to get from here to there? You know, what, what effort are we going to see the fastest return on? Mm -hmm. Not just in business. That was, you know, building a fort, you know, you know what? I mean, it's just all, just always true of me, you know, Mm -hmm. always true of me that I was silly and funny and like trying to bring levity and just, you know, cornball. Um, always true that I'd be vulnerable first, you know, Mm. not scared of that, not scared of you to see what's ugly in me because I knew it would make you safe, you know? So that's, I do do those things now, but I look back and I've always been that, Mm. and I didn't accomplish that. That was placed in me, you know, and that's how I shift the world around me, Mm -hmm. you know? And so if we look at the things and just go, okay, what are the skills? What are the character traits that separate me from everybody else? What's been true, you know, that my friend in third grade would say and that my favorite teacher would say and that my parents would say, 
you know, my best friend that's here still today. What would, what would those people say of me? That's what's important. And leverage that. Name that. Yes. And then leverage the crap out of that. Okay. Build your life and your business around that. 